Okay, good day everyone. So you should have something that looks something like what you're seeing on the screen now. Um, you will have worked through your lampshade and we'll have the top ring, the centre ring, the bottom ring and the attachment fins. The very last part for us to make is the rest of the fins that go around the edges here. We're going to do it a little bit differently than we have so far. We're just going to pick one of these upright planes and we're going to draw it out on the side here rather than in attached. So to start off with, I'm going to click the line tool and start by drawing the internal angle here, something like that. The top, and I'll right click, so I'll click escape to get out of the tool, and then L again on the keyboard to the bottom one here. And now I'm going to give myself some dimensions for all of these. So hitting the D key for this dimensions, I'm going to click those two there. 300 is what we're after. And then if we have a look back here, we have a dimension of 42.7 between that outer point there and that one there. So I'll add those in there as well. So dimension again, that point there, that point there, 42.7. That gives us the correct angle. All right, now we have need to go ahead and dimension these top and bottom lines. You can see the top one got very short just then, so we'll give those a dimension. Actually, we won't give those a dimension yet, sorry. We're going to add in our next line, which is going to be very important. So hitting the L key again, clicking there, clicking there. So we've given it a bit of shape now. We're going to select both that one and that one. Right click and we're going to make those two lines parallel. And we'll pop a dimension between them of 10 millimeters. There we go, so that fin's looking quite similar to the attachment fins there. I just need to give it the notches on the outside edge here. So I'll zoom back in, click on the line tool, click, and I'll zoom in a bit further, click, click, click. There we go, so that's one notch there. I just need to pop some dimensions on it. So we're going to go 15 millimeters here, 3 millimeters here, and then last one is the smaller line here. We'll make that one five millimeters. So there we go. That's the bottom notch. Now we'll do the top notch. L for line tool on the keyboard. Click, click, click. So a bit of a click. There we go. So we've got most of what we need in there. We just need some dimensions now. So let's give it a dimension here of three millimeters. We'll give it the dimension here of 5, and finally 15 millimeters down from the top. So there we go, we've got the fin there with all its dimensions, all right, with the two notches. We now need to extrude that and make a component. So I'm going to hit extrude, didn't even hit the stop sketch button then, just extrude, clicking the fin. I'm going to extrude it by a distance of 3 millimeters, and I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to hit OK. So I should have now, in my drawing on the screen, I should have the main object there plus this extra component here, which says component 6 there. I'm going to rename mine to fin, F-I-N, is the final fin. I'm going to go and change my appearance now as well. So change the appearance to the oak that we've been using. There we go. Hit close. So there we go. We have our oak fin there, and we need to go and insert that into our lampshade. So to do that, it's going to be a little bit tricky. We haven't done this before. We're going to use a joint, something something quite different. So we'll select the component. We're going to select one little line of it. We're going to select that little line. Actually, we'll probably select, no, we'll select that one there, that little line there on the component we want. And now we're going to select where we want it on this over here. And I'll just select one of these on the opposite side over here. You see there, it hasn't quite fitted it in perfectly. We need to do a little bit of a rotation. Oops, wrong way. Just need to pick a different axis there. Let's try that again. So clicking joint, we'll select the component. Select the spot which we want to joint. 
In fact, let's pick this face here instead. And we'll pick that same face over here. See how it goes this time. There we go. So that's jointed that in nicely now. We'll select OK. We'll just double check that that looks right. So we'll come right back out to our home view. And we're going to need to rotate around, orbit around it to make sure it looks correct top and bottom. Yep, looks like we've got that fin in correctly now. All right, and the last thing we need to do with that fin is do the pattern tool on it. So you're clicking the create button, we're going to find pattern and circular pattern. We've selected the object, we'll select the axis, again it being our green axis. And rather than three, we want like before, 48. There we go, we'll hit OK. You can see it's given us quite a few there in the list. What we might just do is we'll just go undo on that and we might just change that again. So we'll select that component again, create, pattern, circular pattern, and we're going to select our component, select the axis. We want 48 of them. And we're just going to change it to bodies if that works for us. It does not. So no, we do need to select the actual object itself. Not correct. Let's fix that. Pattern. Circular pattern. Select the component. We're going to go full around the axis and we're going to make 48. There we go. Click OK and we have our lampshade there. You, do, you can see that we do have quite a few fins now listed here. Now some of these are going to be correct and some we will need to actually delete. So if we select that fin there, this fin on the outside, however, it should hopefully show me my list which one it is that I've selected. Fin 6 has been selected. You can see that it's got the little dotted line. That fin there I want to delete. So we delete that one. Oh, that didn't work for us. Let's undo that. Let's try that again. There it is, that fin there, fin 6. We'll just turn that fin off because technically we only want to see the attachment fin, not the extra one that we've drawn. Here's the next one. So that's one of them. We click there, fin 18 will turn off as well. So 618, probably assume that it's going to be the next one. Swivel around a little bit. It's going to be around here. Just fin 30, switch that one off. And finally, the last one is this one here, which is in our list on the side here, fin 42. We'll get rid of that one as well. There we go. So we have created the lampshade with all the parts needed. Obviously, we've got lots of fins and a few attachment fins there, but aside from that, we have created the lampshade with all the parts that we were after, and it's looking completely correct. A little dialog box there to fix that. I'll save that. So this is the part we haven't done yet. So we're going to click save. I'm just going to change back to the lampshade project that we created earlier. We'll click save on our lampshade. I'm going to change the location for mine to lampshade folder. There we go. Okay. We'll name it lampshade. And I might even put practice, this is our practice one. There we go, and we'll hit save. And it's going to take a couple of seconds, and there we go. Now it's saved that to the cloud, it's not saved on our computer, so we can access this from any computer now. And we have successfully completed the practice lampshade. Hope you've been able to do the same, and you'll be able to continue on and make your own now.